Hello everyone and welcome to like, I don't know, week seven maybe of vlogging. Um, I know I look exactly the same as I did in the last like little video, but I thought I'd explain to you like how I go about dyeing my hair because for some bizarre reason, I, I swear I only dyed it really recently with a permanent colour, but I don't know if you can see, hang on. My roots are just like, can you see that? You probably can't really tell on camera. They look terrible. They've grown through so quickly, and it and I don't like it when it fades. So like it's like a faded red. So I'm basically using up the last, not the last of. I think I both did it two more times, but like mo basically the last of my. Oh here you go. You can see how light the hair is here. The baby hairs and the broken hairs. Um, I'm using like the last kind of. This might be the last time I stay red, because I'm thinking of going brunette while I'm here and then getting my sister to put some lowlights and highlights in so I'm like you know like that bronze colour whatever they called it you know the brown and the blonde I kind of want to be that colour because I think it would match with the um the old eyes and I am or was naturally a blonde I'm now naturally more of like a light mousy brown um but I couldn't tell you exactly because I haven't had natural hair colour for a long I don't know how long the camera cut out on me for and you can see my toilet but yeah you can go from um, being a redhead to a brew blonde but it literally will damage your hair so much and as you can see um, I'll try and insert a picture or like something or a cutaway from when I first arrived because I didn't think my hair had grown at all and I have I did have a significant amount like my sister re-trimmed it all for me when I went home a few months ago but um, I don't intend on getting my hair cut, which I know is terrible, but I don't like the way they do it here until we go home, which is maybe in a month or two, or if not, hopefully we'll go home for Christmas. Or So we don't know what our plans are with that, but I don't really want to get it cut yet. So I'm going semi-permanent. I use this Directions hair dye. This one's dirty as. And I actually, my favourite combination is Vermilion, Vermilion Red, this one. Um, with like the tulip I think it is which is more of like a pinky purpley tone and then you're gonna think this is really bizarre alpine green like the tiniest bit because it adds a really cool tone to it so when it washes out you don't get like orangey hair um, so it washes out with a really cool tone and it just adds like a bit more depth to it like try it just try and add like a bit of a green or a blue to it I really I like if I was brave enough I'd go alpine green I reckon but I think maybe after my year of being blonde or like more natural maybe I'll try that but hey guys so it's the beginning of a new like weekly vlog I guess it's Saturday and we're just gonna go off to the student market which I haven't actually shown you like any of so maybe I'll do some vlogging while we're there we're gonna go and see if we can get some like little protectors for the keyboards and a few like laptopy bits because we've just both got like newish laptops and we want to look after them so that's what we're up to Where are we? We're at the market. The food market. The student food market. The student food market in Chiang Mai. The student food market in Chiang Mai University. Okay. So we're at the market. I don't know if you gathered that. But um, I didn't vlog us going anywhere. We've come really, really quickly because we have someone coming around soon. So we're trying to be quick. But we just got these. Wait, my brain isn't functioning. We just bought these. And I think they're super cute. The only thing is they've got Thai letters on them, so that's a bit interesting. And it stops the anti on computers. But there's Thai letters as well as English letters on there, so, you know, learn some Thai while we're writing in English. Stop. Oh, I literally just started recording as you did that. And we just left the student market now. There wasn't really much to show you because we're in a bit of a rush, like I said, but hopefully we'll go back in the next few weeks so I can film some more. I ate a stinky fish. He ate a stinky fish. Um, ooh, and he's just dropped his phone. Oh. Ooh, got some crazy, there's some great lighting here. And blue. Hey guys, so I know it's 
Sunday and I always say I don't vlog at the weekend but I kind of like I just feel like I'm just going to pick the camera up whenever I fancy I've dyed my hair and it kind of looks purpley but it is just like a really dark red which I'm quite happy with because I want to like transition to brunette so then I can go a bit blonder eventually so I feel like this is a good like slow transition um I've done a little bit of makeup but I've basically been laying in bed all day today um but I just wanted to say hi just say I've literally only got the light on so I can film this clip like I've been suffering with the worst migraine I've just taken some pills which have made me like Whoa. but it's the only thing that can help um, but I've got so much work to do I'm going to try and push through a little bit of it like kind of in the dark with my laptop on so there's a bit of light but because like a migraine generally tends to affect half your face like I can kind of kind of cope if I do this but I don't know because I feel really sick so I just made myself a cup of tea I'm just making myself like a chip butty basically but it's in a roll it's not really a butty so it's like a a chip roll with lots of butter which I know isn't very healthy and I haven't updated the whole diet thing in a few weeks and I've got a bit slack but I've been really like drained and tired and just not feeling good these last few weeks and today it's been really just difficult and it's so annoying because it's not even like I went to sleep that late last night and I was really motivated last night with all the things I wanted to do. I put makeup on to film a video. Luckily I have enough videos filmed <clears throat> so I don't necessarily need to do it today and I can hopefully do it tomorrow or the next day but it's just like I hate this like just feeling so direct like I've got so much I want to get done and I can achieve a lot in a day if I really put my mind to it. I'm behind on like putting the boxes up on the on Etsy. I haven't done anything like that, and I'm just like stressing, which obviously makes the migraine worse. I think that's why I got the migraine in the first place. So I've got loads of water, a lovely milky cup of tea, and I'm just waiting for my chips to cook, and then I'm gonna bring them in here and just be a little hermit crab for the day. So I just thought I'd update you on my sun <coughs> on my Sunday. Um, hopefully we'll do something in the week where like. A little bit poor at the minute we're waiting for some money to come in so i don't know it might be a bit of a boring week but uh maybe i'll go for some walks in that case and show you around because i keep saying i want to maybe we'll go to a temple or something who knows but anyway i'm gonna go because i think my chips are basically done and i feel sick but like i need to eat um i'm one of those people i'll just say really really quickly before i go i'm one of those people it's like ow my head really hurts so bad um if I feel sick, I have to eat. Like, I have to eat because sometimes I feel sick because I'm so hungry, and sometimes I feel sick because genuine, like I'm genuinely gonna be sick. And like my test is like I'll either watch someone eat or think about food that I might normally love, and if my body is like, Whoop, then I'm like maybe not. But then then I'll go a bit further. And I uh, I really like my eyebrows today. They look a bit messy now because I've been laying, but I did them really well, which was so annoying. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but a lot of the time I like I would rather eat and then just throw it straight back up if like that's the what's gonna happen than like sit around feeling nauseous. I can't bear the thought of just being nauseous the whole time. It's just because I don't want to move because I'm like what well, if I move too much? What if I throw it anyway? So I'm gonna eat even though I feel sick. So this is what I got from the market. Um, it's just it's literally just this like really really thin cover. Um, it's actually got like tie letters on it as well, if you can see. Um, but I really love the colour, I just think it's so nice. Um, so yeah, got that for just, it, it's like it protects all of the insides so bugs. Because there are loads of like ants living in a hot country, they some, for some reason like to get underneath here. Can't, and also it can't like get food under it, you can wash this, um, like wipe it down, clean it and stuff. So it's just an extra bit of protection. I would like to get something that kind of covers this. I don't know if they sell anything like that. If you know, would you better let me know because that would be pretty good. So I might be going mad because it's about two in the morning. But I'm going to cut myself a side sweat like bang or fringe. Like this is like the most shaping I have around my face. I've been trying to grow up for ages, but I don't enjoy it like, I always have something on the front of my face anyway. I don't like my forehead. And I always try and make a fringe out of this, but it doesn't really work anymore because it's just too long. So 
I wanted to do this when I went back to England, but I got scared and said no to my sister. She's a hairdresser, she has my hair normally, and I don't really trust anyone else out here, so I'm gonna try something. The last time I tried to cut my hair, it was like many, many moons ago, and I did it with nail scissors, and it went very, very wrong. This time I've at least, I haven't got proper hairdresser scissors, so it could be a bit risky, but I'm gonna go slow, I'm gonna do it really too long, and if it goes really wrong, then I'll go to a hairdresser tomorrow, but I'm gonna try and do it now. <coughs> So I've just done it, and like, personally, I don't think it's hugely noticeable. I really think I like it. Let me just go into a different room. Maybe in here. Um, it's a tiny bit blunt looking at the minute, but that's, my hair always does this when I first like kind of cut it in, or get it cut. It always just has like a bit of a blunt cut to it, and I didn't have proper scissors, but um, I'm going to do a tiny, tiny bit of like feathering maybe into like this, because it's kind of like a bit sharp and then a bit longer, it doesn't completely blend, but um, I think because it's dark it's okay, I can get away with it mostly, and um, yeah, I think if I, if tomorrow I wake up and I go, what the hell did I do, I can clip it back for like a few weeks and I can still, I have to straighten it to one side, it's going to look stupid, but I can still do like a middle parting, it look kind of cute if I had curly hair to flip both those bits back, so yeah. Overall, I'm baldy happy for that. Um, but I'll show you properly tomorrow once ugh, there's hair everywhere. Once I've done my makeup properly and stuff, because um, I'm going to try and film a video tomorrow. But I didn't take long at all. But look how much hair I cut off. Like I'm sure you'll be able to notice from the clips. I cut this much hair off. I was so scared when I first cut it, and that came off. You can see though, like. It was side swept. You can see that. I mean, it's now a bit messy, but you can see that there is a difference in, in length. So it was side swept anyway. I really like this. I'm really happy with myself. And like, it's a proper. I mean, I'd need to style it and stuff, but it's actually like a proper side fringe. Yeah. I... So I feel like I've like officially just gone mad. It's like quarter to six in the morning and. I don't, I don't, I haven't eaten a huge deal today, but I've literally, all I've been craving is carbs. I think it's because of my migraine, like, I need, like, sugar, you know, like, slow-release sugar that you get from white, starchy carbs. Um, not slow-release, is that right? I don't know, it's nice in the morning, don't judge me. Um, <clears throat> I've gone, like, kind of off track with the whole eating really, really well, and... The thing was, is I was going to avoid the, f uh, ignore the fact that my tummy was like, get some carbs, but it was like grumbling to the point where I couldn't sleep. It was making me feel sick, so I'm just boiling some water now, and I'm literally going to make some spaghetti with just a tin tomato sauce and then add some cheese because I'm so hungry. And then also my body has decided it's awake at the minute, so I've brought my laptop in here because um, I might do some work. But the likelihood is, by the time I've eaten my pasta, my body will be like, ugh, you're sleepy again. So, sorry, I just got really close to the camera as I did that, that was really creepy. Um, but yeah, and also, I cannot really even vlog at the minute because my house is so disgustingly messy. But tomorrow, or today, we're going to have a clear up, like a proper clear up, I think. I keep, we've been saying it for days, but it's like, for me, it's at the point now where like, there's nowhere I can go in the house which is clean, which makes me not want to work. So I want to get up at a decent time tomorrow, like even if I only have a few hours sleep, I don't care. I just want to tidy up. So, um, or I might start tidying before I go to sleep because my body might just be like, do some tidying. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so if I don't speak to you tomorrow, it's because I super laid in or something ridiculous. But in theory, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Good morning guys, so it's Wednesday now, um, I didn't film anything yesterday because we had a friend round and like, not many people know I do the vlogging thing and so I didn't really want to just shove a camera in his face and we had a really nice evening as well, and before that I was just so many cleaning up which you wouldn't be able to tell now, um, I did loads of washing up and um, a load of washing and all those you know like the jobs that people don't notice they get done they just get done magically and it's really irritating um those kind of jobs yesterday 
Um, I'm just laying in bed. It's not actually the morning. It's like lunchtime, but I didn't. We don't go to sleep till late, so it's like my morning. So I've got to get up this morning and go drop a package off. Or well, this afternoon, I've got to sort the package out first, then drop it off, then get some food, and I'm just like, I'm I'm on the edge of feeling like I might be getting a migraine. So I'm gonna get up now. I force myself to get the work done I need to just in case I get a migraine. I've had the worst headaches in the last few days. Like every day I've had a headache. Although today I think is um is a bit more warranted because I um we like didn't have enough this is so stupid. So you can't really drink tap water and we didn't really quite have enough of the normal water that we the bottled water that we buy, um for like our guest and us as well. Well, we would have been able to share it around below. I was less bothered. I was like, oh, I can just drink this. It's like a, a it's Japanese green tea. Um, and it's not got that much sugar in it. It's not that bad. I drink a lot of tea as well to get my water in, which probably isn't the best. Um, It's got 2% of my sugars in it. So, But as you can see, I literally drank like a sip of it. So my throat is sore. I'm not sure that's the reason for my headache, but that's not helping. Obviously, you should stay hydrated. So yeah, I'm just going to get up and um, probably take you out with us. I think we're going to Central again, which is really annoying. But I might go for a little walk myself down to 7-Eleven later, depending on what I feel like. Sorry, I feel like I've got like... I always get so paranoid that I've got like sleep, so I like look at my face a lot. I've got this horrible spot here as well. Anyway, I'm waffling, so I'm going to go. So we're back now in our really dark apartment. I'm just going to turn the light on and see if I can light up the room a bit more. Um, yeah, we that was really fun, our little trip out. I got this, I got a picture of it. I'll insert a picture with it being full rainbow soda in this cute little thing. Please excuse my hair. It was in a pot when I went out. It's not anymore. And then they had these samples for... I was like, the whole time we were walking around this food thing, which I should have filmed and I didn't because I'm rubbish. I was like, I'm not gonna get something sweet. And then this lady let me try, like they have like samples of their stuff. And it's called the Mesmerized Brownie and it's from like, it's like a homemade deli. Hey guys, so it's either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. I just need to grab my water that I was gonna use to make myself a cup of tea. Um, it's like nearly 5 a.m. and I'm just laying in bed and I'm I'm trying for like the past hour and a half to sleep and my body is like no you're awake so what I tend to do on nights like this where I can't sleep in bed is I make myself a warm cup of tea um and I know tea has caffeine in it but for some reason like you could do hot milk if you don't want a caffeinated drink or you could get decaf tea um but yeah, I make myself a warm cup of tea and I go into the spare room and I go in with the intention of doing work and for some reason magically I become tired, so yeah, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting my milk out um, to make my cup of tea and I'm doing it the wrong way around because it's easy and it means I have to spend less time in the kitchen and I can go and sit in bed. Um, but I do have two jobs to do, plus I need to get back on the website. I've just had like, I don't know, I guess a, a bout of, I got stuck in like a rut. Why do they do this? I just want, well, I'll move away from that for a second. Um, yeah, I just got stuck in a rut in terms of 
Ew, I just tried something. I don't know what that was. Um, uh, so I just, and I was feeling down, and I was feeling miserable. And also, that's another thing, I've got really bad indigestion at the minute. And normally, I know it's weird, I don't know if it should help or not, but a hot cup of tea normally helps my indigestion. And it means that like I can use two pillows to help prop myself up instead of getting in shower when he's trying to sleep. I just find it easier when I struggle to sleep to come into the spare room. I'm so weird. And uh, I must be such an annoying person to live with. <laughs> I should make, I was just thinking, I should make like bed chats with Laura a thing or something. Because I always have like most like deep thoughts at night time like I'll consider my life at night time and I could tell you loads of interesting things um but maybe you don't want to hear my fascinating stuff I don't know what I'm talking about I push play to say something and I can't remember um oh yeah for those of you is that really annoying it's really hot in here um for those of you who let me just turn the speed down a little bit just for the second um for any of you who like found me because of the stickers or are interested in like my sticker shop or anything like that um, and are wondering like why I haven't updated and why I haven't done the November box I decided instead of doing like a November box because of shipping and stuff like that and because we might be moving um, like in a month back home and all this sort of stuff like there are big changes happening I think in the next week I'll put out a Christmas box and it will just run through till like right near Christmas so you can get Christmas it'll be a Christmas sticker kit um, and it'll be cool to give as a gift if you know someone who likes planning or for yourself as a little Christmas treat um, yeah I think that that's what I might do instead of doing the November box because it's going to be too rushed and I would only want to put a sticker kit in there that I loved like the first two kits that I made for my boxes, I was completely in love with. So, and I'm thinking, ew, about gross, about changing the way that I do my stickers. But um, I don't know when I'm going to do it because I'm so busy that I would need to shut the. Like, I need to spend like a week working on just purely the shop, and I'd be able to do that um, if. Sharon's just waiting on some work and once I've completed this work, if his work comes through I'll be able to focus just purely on the shop for a week and like work as if that's actually my job um, because I want to keep the older kits and maybe keep them at a lower price or maybe sell them what I might do is do like a sale and because I kind of want to change like the layout um, I like the six sheets, I like that they're all uniform sizes that makes me feel good when I package it but I figured since starting doing the um, like the special kits the deluxe kits that you get in the uh, boxes I really like the way the deluxe kits are um, and I'm not saying I'm gonna put as many sheets into every single kit because then it would be a deluxe kit and it would cost more and all that but I'm thinking about changing up the sorts of stickers that go into each month. I want to add more like charactery kind of things into each month or each um, kit that's made, which will take a bit more time, but I think it would have more of a personal touch from us. Um, and I want to just change it up a bit, maybe not just have it all the sticker sheets, uniform size, maybe have, I don't know, maybe rearrange it so I feel like it's a bit muddled. I don't know. I'm just. Like I like change, like if you look at my first kits to the kits now, they're so different and I like the change. Um, so I don't know, I'm thinking about changing them, I do the weekend again, but this is just, I need to make like a planner specific like questions video I guess or uh, help me because I need some thoughts I guess from people who are buyers. Oh and sorry for going off schedule a little bit. Um, with my uh, videos. I will do kind of like an update video um, as to kind of like explain, not excuse myself because it's all in my head but then again that's a silly thing to say because all mental illnesses are all in your head and that doesn't make it an easy thing to overcome and I 
Oh, I, it's a really long-winded thing, but essentially I suffer with like huge amounts of like self-doubt and depression, and I go through like bouts of not wanting to do anything, and that's why I've, one another reason why I've always been so flaky on YouTube. But um, yeah, I want to make kind of like a series as to like problems and things that I've. It's not to be like woe is me. I've struggled with these things, but so you get to know me and understand me, and also for those of you who may be struggling with similar things and we and like yeah I don't know um, so that's why I do a lot of pre-filming because I haven't made a video in ages and I'm still regularly kind of uploading I've gone off schedule a little bit but I promise to get back on schedule ASAP and kind of getting out of my, fun my funk so good afternoon um, my hair is looking exceedingly messy um, it's about no, half two, three or something at the minute. Um, so not, it's not early, but like I say, I didn't go to bed till like late. So I want my full eight hours ish. Um, I did want to wake up a bit earlier, but unfortunately we both woke up a bit late. But that doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna eat something breakfast style. No, I'm gonna eat breakfast. What am I talking about? Um, but I'm a baby, and <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I don't eat like. I don't like to eat my oats like this. Um, I like them bl blended, like ready rack, basically. Like baby, or baby porridge, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's so much more expensive to buy something that's blended up. So I'll just do it myself. So I'm going to get a big bowl, and I'm going to blend up all the porridge. Because I've been meaning to do it for days, and I keep eating shit for breakfast. Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if these rules on YouTube. I don't know if you're able to swear or anything, so... I don't know. I don't want to not be able. I don't think. I think I should have freedom of speech. Put an 18 on my, or a 15, whatever swearing, you know, encompasses. Put that on my videos. But I want to say what I want. Anyway, I keep eating rubbish for breakfast because I haven't got porridge and I have fruit. I have no excuse. I'm just being lazy. So I'm gonna do it now because for some reason. Oh no. <laughs> Whew, they drop. There's a sugar all over the floor. For some reason, I'm feeling quite. Okay, today let's step the first real proper day in ages that I've been like, I feel alright. And the problem is, is I feel crap when I eat crap, and that just goes in a horrible cycle. So today, I'm starting fresh. Is what I'm saying. So I've got my porridge. Pink blender came free with the house, so someone, someone old must have been living here before. So I'm going to do that now. Eat some breakfast and then get on with the afternoon. So we've just seen a friend, um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, um, we just had a friend round, he'd just gone home, we're waiting just for another friend to come and pop round and see us, um, they all kind of like work in the area, so they just kind of like pop round to see us whenever they finish work, or whatever they're doing, um, I don't know why I'm out of breath, I just, I just came in here because I can't, I can socialise more, but I've got work to do is what I mean, so I can't socialise because I've got work to do, um, but what I do have is a cup of tea and... This big bag of pineapples, pineapple that I'm gonna eat um, while I sit in the bedroom at work. So, yeah, that's that really. I love this laptop so much, and actually, my old laptop is still semi working, so it's like very unpredictable, but it's still semi works. So, I use them both for different jobs now, which is kind of cool. <sighs> my chin, this is a really bad angle for me to film, but I can't lift it up any higher because I'm charging my phone. So, yeah. It's not a very exciting Thursday, but then again, whose Thursdays are exciting? Ooh, so cold. So it's Saturday, and before you know it, another week has gone. Um, I didn't film a lot this week because we had a couple of friends around who stayed, and so I didn't really have anywhere to film or much to film because we stayed in. We just watched some movies and stuff. And none of them know about my, you know, ew, what the hell is that? Um, what I do on YouTube, I've got an ulcer, I've just realised, I feel horrible. I'm only filming now because I need to just get like an outro done <laughs> with me looking like just the head. Um, but our friend last night, um, he, he, he wasn't feeling particularly great, so he went to bed quite early. So he's got up quite early. About quite early, I mean quite late in terms of people who go to, to work normal hours. 
It was annoying me when like this is really like a shady thing to say, but when like vloggers and stuff are like, ooh, I had to, I had to get up so early today. It's like what time to get up? Nine. You know, yeah. Most people have to work like eight till five. Have been most of my job roles, eight day to five, and you've got to get there first. So, um, anyway, I'm not whinging. Can't be bothered. I'm so tired. But it's half nine. But I went to bed at about half seven. So I've literally had about two hours sleep. But now I've been awake for like a significant amount of time. I don't know what to do because. I don't know if I should do some work and then like have it up later. Cause it's so bright out. Oh, I don't know. But basically, I've got some really like big news, I guess, which I'm gonna make a main channel video about what to do with like our living situation um, and all that sort of stuff. So currently, I feel super sick. Like I've got like juicy mouth I don't feel good I'm tired and I'm gonna end the vlog here so I will see you next week with another vlog well I'll see you before then in videos but I mean in this terms of vloggage um, and like I always say if you ever have any Q&A questions leave them below I'm, I make a little list if anyone who ever asks me questions um, I'd like to do like a Q&A with Shan at some point but I don't know. Anyway, I'm talking funny because I have an ulcer. I hope you had a really, really good weekend because this will go off on Monday. So, and I hope your week is super.